Hello friends. Today we will be talking about how technical people with background in SQL, PLSQL or even web applications like JavaScript or tools within Oracle like Apex, how they can make their career in Oracle Cloud or Oracle Fusion as we all know. So first of all, there is nothing to be disheartened that there are no more opportunities for technical people in cloud. That's a wrong notion, which we all have. There are two different models in which Oracle is offering its cloud services. In fact, there are more. I'm just going to talk about two over here. One is the SaaS model, which is software as a service where Oracle is offering the services of its business application which has been built as a hybrid of Oracle eBusiness Suite, PeopleSoft, JD Edwards, Hyperion, lot of acquisitions which Oracle had done. They have tried to gather the best out of each and try to make a common product, which they called earlier as Oracle Fusion. And now we all commonly know it as Oracle Cloud Applications. Again, Oracle Cloud Applications, like the earlier on-premise version, is supporting modules across Human Capital Management or HCM, Financials, Supply Chain Management, and Customer Experience or CX, what we call. And even they have their planning tools like EPM over the cloud. One of the propagandas which has been done for the SaaS model is that it doesn't need any customization. Businesses do not agree fully to it. Every business says that, okay, I have something unique. To address that, Oracle introduced initially itself, its PaaS services or platform as a service, where you can deploy your custom extensions and they can interoperate with your SaaS application. So earlier also, before we had Oracle SaaS or Oracle Cloud, we were able to build extensions, right? We were able to use tools like SQL, PLSQL. In OAF, we used to use your Java concepts and all. Here also you can build applications. Now even in much more wider set of languages like even Python and all. You can deploy it on your platform as a service container which is provided by Oracle. And it can work seamlessly along with your Oracle SaaS applications. The best part is the services which are available now, which allow to interoperate between the applications. When I'm talking about services, I'm talking about SOAP and REST APIs. A lot of them are available in the current release and you can, you as a technical developer or a technical consultant can make use of it and build, or I would say fill the gaps which are there in the existing solution of Oracle as perceived by some of the industries. So as a technical developer, where do I use SQL? Okay, that might be a question. So SQL anyhow is a base, right? You need SQL to communicate with the database to extract the information which has been stored in form of transactions by the business users. Any system without being able to provide useful reporting is not a useful system. So the first and foremost use of if you are good in SQL, that you can start writing BI publisher reports or BIP reports as we call. But before you can start working on the tables, you need to understand the flows within the application so that whatever data you are extracting through your query, that is the correct data. So it's not only SQL, of course, SQL is a prerequisite, which you probably require. But apart from it, you definitely need to learn the business flows, how they work within the Oracle cloud applications so that you can extract the meaningful data. Apart from that, if you have analytical mindset, there is a tool provided by Oracle OTBI, okay, or Oracle Transactional Business Intelligence, where you can drag and drop from the existing subject areas which have been provided by Oracle. Apart from that, the data conversion thing where PLSQL was very largely used, right? Oracle 
in SAS, they provided something called as FBDI or file based data import for ERP related modules like financials, procurement, supply chain and so on. And for HCM, they provided something called as HDL or HCM data loader. They are nothing but comma delimited file formats, which Oracle has provided. Okay. To extract the data from your legacy applications, okay, you still need some kind of extraction tool like PLSQL to clean the data, to validate it and so on. But while we upload it within the application, you do not need any kind of technical skill as per, uh, you know, like PLSQL and all. You can do it through a set of content programs which Oracle has provided. The only condition or the only thing which you have to ensure is that the data which you extract needs to follow the same template as it is, which has been provided by Oracle in form of your FBDI or file based data import templates or HDL templates as in HCM. If you know SQL loader while you work in other technologies or other applications like Oracle eBusiness Suite, then half of the battle is already won. Oracle FBDI internally is using the SQL loader only to load the interface files which are being generated into the interface tables. And from there on, from the interface tables to the base tables, the data is again being populated either through a API run like it used to happen earlier or there is a concurrent program which does all the data integrity validations and if everything is good, it pushes the data into the base tables. So I am sure you are able to correlate, right? That how your earlier skills of SQL, your PLSQL and even SQL loader, right? Are going to help you to become a more better technical consultant when you come to Oracle Cloud or Oracle Fusion. Apart from that, the REST APIs or SOAP, what we everybody calls right over here in SAS. You have worked on APIs in PLSQL in eBusiness Suite or you have worked on a package dot procedure or a package dot function, right? If you are a PLSQL developer. So REST or a web service is also very much similar. You do not know the code which is running inside, but like in a PLSQL package procedure, you had a set of parameters. Similarly, over here in a REST service, you provide a set of parameters and in background, it does the required job of either it could be creating a customer invoice or it could be a supplier invoice or whatever. Like the list of REST APIs which has been enabled or exposed by Oracle, that is something which you need to take care as a developer. That's very important. We cannot create our own REST APIs, which are going to interact with the database within Oracle SAS. That's not possible. The only access which we have to Oracle SAS database is through the availability of REST or the SOAP web services. Okay. So if you are good at writing SOAP or REST services, or if you have good knack of algorithms, I would say you definitely can think of a career within Oracle Cloud or Oracle Fusion. But of course, as I mentioned earlier, you need to be aware about the business flows. You cannot do much without business flows. You might be great at technical, but if you do not know how the business is going to work or how the transactions flow across modules, it's not going to be that really helpful for the organization who's going to employ you. Similarly, for people who know Apex, so there are a lot of extensions being developed in Apex, which can be, you know, deployed over the PaaS platform. They are interoperate, uh, they can interoperate along with your SaaS applications. Okay. All that is very much possible. So if you are good at Apex, you still have a great scope. Again, the prerequisite, as I just mentioned a while ago, you need to be aware about the business processes. You need to know the underlying tables. You need to have some practice about the flow, how it happens. Otherwise, whenever somebody tests, right, they are going to be, you know, just totally irritated. Okay. That what this guy doesn't know even the basic of this thing. They don't understand that you're a technical. 
and they expect even as a technical you to understand at least the function flow okay and documents whatever we are writing right or whatever as a technical developer we get there is a possibility that it might not contain the entire information and you are expected to know the business flows apart from that people coming from web applications development background right people having good knowledge of javascript they are definitely having a great potential to work in oracle cloud applications so there is a tool which has been introduced by oracle vbcs or visual builder cloud or the jet framework which is java extension toolkit so both of them work on javascript concept only so vbcs is a drag and drop tool but underlying code is again javascript so you can build your basic guis okay like there was forms builder earlier so you can use vbcs to create those simple forms interact with the database using rest api calls and so on so there is nothing to worry for people having good technical skills in sql pl sql javascript apex developers and all right they have pretty good potential to become usable in oracle cloud and oracle fusion we at emicon are constantly looking for people like you who are looking to switch their careers from native technologies to oracle cloud applications we are going to teach you the basic business flows we proudly say that we build techno functional consultants so you already have your technical knack and technical skill we are going to impart you the required functional knowledge to make you a techno functional consultant of course we are not a training institute guys so we train our in house people people who are employed with us so looking forward if you are willing to join us you can connect with our hr we'll be very happy to you know do the recruitment process and invite you to join our team if you are fit with all the required parameters signing off yours sincerely radhesh thank you